Hello, so we are vlogging for one purpose and one purpose only. I have been up for I think seven hours. It's around 9.45. I woke up at around three something. That might be bad math. Um, I have chronic pain. I often don't sleep well or sleep at random times and you know, it's uh, it's not 10 a.m. yet and the like hot flashes and chills and like shivering has started and I want to have a productive day. So if I make it into a project, it might it might be dual. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about books first because obviously this is a book channel. So these are kind of the books that I'm thinking about reading today. So first of all, we have White Stalker Sea. This is a sequel, prequel to uh, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. So uh, Jean Rhys, Rhys, that's probably way too French version. Jean Rhys uh, was um, a woman who of uh, cruel descent. She lived in Dominica and then at the age of 16 was made to immigrate to England and have a life there and culture shock and all of those things and what does culture and stuff like that. There's geese flying, they're very cute and being very loud. <laughs> I know everyone like hates Canadian geese, I adore them and I love that they spend a lot of time right outside my window and they stop because I'm talking about them and they know she's born around 50-ish years after Jane Eyre as a book has come out as one of the most personal books and also that. And then so we have this and it's, it's quite short, I wasn't expecting it to be like this puny, but it's really really good and I kind of want to do a book and I don't know maybe I'll do an essay and like challenge myself for no apparent reason but to kind of compare this and whatever because Jane Eyre is a really good book at least for the first half I found the second half quite boring and not it could have been really condensed but I really enjoyed watching Jane grow up and I watched her her and Rochester um, interact even though obviously it has problematic things and I was I was expecting to go in and hate Rochester so when I didn't hate him absolutely like I thought he was a dick but I didn't think that he like it's easy to have compassion for him and then you see the way that he treats Bertha and it's like ugh, no 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 so I'm very interested I don't know how much of the crossovers with it but it's an own versus novel that has become you know its own thing it's become it's a classic we have Northander Abbey I started reading this at the beginning of the month and I haven't finished I think I'm around like 80 pages out of like 216 so I'm about halfway I like to finish this um, it takes a lot of focus and the migraine is sitting right behind my eyes so then I have another book that I need to finish and this is Black Dog Black Knight I started this in April somewhere of spring of 2019 and I've been reading it off and off because even though it's like 230 pages 230 pages of translated poetry is a lot of a lot I really love it and every time I do it I'm I literally got to the library and read it to my roommate and she's like she's like it's familiar I'm like yes because the first thing I do ever is read the first poem because it's really beautiful and um, it deals a lot with like uh, Vietnam War and stuff like that because it's contemporary and I really love the fact that poetry can get you through like culture and stuff like I don't understand everything that they're referencing but it's beautiful Her hair is still green and too short to twist into a bun. Oh my love, the last moments of our lives together. We had no chance to listen, to look at each other, a single light shining. Yesterday you loved purple sim and your shirt was that color. Yesterday alone in the midnight lamplight, a small shadow sewed her husband's shirt. Yesterday, on a rainy forest evening, three brothers in the north northeast battle heard news of their sister's death before news of her wedding. Every time. The autumn wind blew, making waves on the dark green river. Someday, her little sister will grow up and stare at her picture in surprise as early autumn wind blows and yellow grass around her tombstone. Marching in the evening, crossing the Sim Hills, which are lawned and endless, the purple color of Sim makes the evening purple and empty. I look at myself, shirt bursting at the shoulder and sing in the color of Sim. My shirt broke its thread at the seam. My wife died young, and but my mother is very old, so she can't. Dot dot dot. Yeah, I just, I really adore this, and that geese is rather obnoxious right now. Um, and even though like the rhyming and stuff like that doesn't completely go over, the emotion does. And yeah, so I've been like reading this off and off for the last uh, two years now. So um, I have, I think, around thirty poems left. And then we also have Her Body and Other Stories by Carmen Maria Machado. And this is uh, a collection of essays and short stories, I believe. And I'm really, really excited to read this. I read In a Dream House, which deals with taking gothic horror and kind of making that into elements of representing an abusive relationship and how we look at that, especially with a lot of research. Um, because she was in a queer relationship and we don't view, we often have 
a bad habit of acting like women can't be perpetrators of abuse and how, you know, celebrating, um, celebrating liberation and stuff like that can often keep people from acknowledging that um, there can be abuse and that you can't speak out because it's homophobic or it's sexist to talk about your female partner who is abusing you. Um, I have breathing issues so often when I shower I can't breathe and uh, I showered Saturday um, which was like a day and a half ago <laughs> and thankfully my hair is still still looking clean <laughs> but like I, I could not breathe and had to stop halfway through so um, I'm having it's always hard when I have a really bad uh, shower and like you know I'm you know for two hours three hours later I'm, I'm not being able to breathe and I'm like gasping on my air to be like okay now we're gonna overcome the drama of that and we're gonna go back and shower because I have to shower um, yeah so it's gonna be a fun fun time guys my father's body is a map, a record of his journey. He carries a bullet lodged in his left thigh. There is a hollow where it entered, a protruding bump where it sleeps. The doctor says it will never awaken. It is the only souvenir he insists on keeping. Mother has her opinions. Your father is crazy. We are not so different beyond the threshold of distance and time that an orange is an orange from which... I come from, this is my lady of the lake, but a mere discrepancy, for beyond any threshold is the promise of home. I've located you in an alphabet. Do not think it is wrong of me. It is by no means a reduction of your being. This is done only so that I may address you free of inhibitions found in name. They are temporarily submerged, if not discarded. Let's say the U are K and I am T removed from our context T met K in a country V T fell in love with both K and V, the sum of which is language unrequited. So we have made it now to the time of night when I can go to bed and it won't be ridiculous because I've been up for 17 hours, I think. So it's about 7 p.m., like 6.45. I'm watching Pretty Women. I've never watched it before, but I am very excited to be watching it. And I thought I, I was like, always like, uh, I don't want to watch it because it's probably going to have like lots of sexism and stuff like that, but I was always intrigued to watch it. So I finally did and I was surprised by how much I'm enjoying it. I think I'm about like just over halfway probably. And it's surprisingly progressive for the fact that it's 30 years old. Like obviously it still has its issues, but it doesn't fall into a lot of the sexism that many other things have. I had my shower and while my shower was like, I'm going to reward, reward myself because I was really not feeling well. So I watched, um... Cinderella 1997, which is the most diverse adaptation of Cinderella, despite being 20. Like, it came out two day, two months after I was born. So, like, it is as old as I am, and yet it has a Filipino prince and a black princess, and, you know, that is super, super great. And we have, all of the families are, you know, diverse and stuff like that, and it is, um, yeah. I'm sad that Brandy as the main character is probably the weakest link and I really want to but like it doesn't do drama very well and the humor part is probably where it best shines and because of her and the character that they set her up to be she's always the like very breathy very happy like dreams and the humor is where it really shines which makes me really sad because like I, d I don't know if that's her trying to play into the tradition or her trying to play like a softer version because um, the other characters of color that weren't main characters got to play a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that is my evening. Uh, I read some poetry and it was really, really good. And, uh, hopefully I'll finish this and then I'll do some more reading. And, uh, I think I have Bible study tonight. Me and my friends, uh, have been doing, um, there's like four of us that meet together and read the Bible and chat. So we have that later. <laughs> this is a life, you know. During non-quarantine, we always drink whiskey while we talk about Jesus. I don't really have a thesis for this video because it's not like I'm going to like record myself like writhing in pain. <laughs> but I don't know. I want to be able to feel more comfortable filming videos when I'm not like at my peak ability or like being able to like make myself look nice and like all of these things. And like this is how I woke up. Hello. The makeup is from yesterday that I did not take off because I was too tired. <laughs> I'm not always going to be coherent. I'm not always going to be spiffed up but that doesn't mean that there's a lack of like earnestness behind it or there's a lack of attention so like yeah I don't really have like a reason why it was mostly because I wanted to be able to 
have some energy and do some things even on a day when I felt really terrible. And I hope that you enjoyed it. If not, you're probably not here. So <laughs> that's okay. And have a great day. Uh, talk to me about what you're reading and enjoying and all of that. And there'll be another video soon.